Hey y'all and welcome to Our Gray House. If you're new here, my name is Lisa and I enjoy sharing DIYs and inspo for home, food, and travel all on a budget. So if you enjoy that too, please be sure and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications and YouTube should notify you when I share something new. Today's video is part of a Christmas in July DIY challenge that is hosted by Domestic Diva DIY and The Schwoman's Nest. Both of those gals, I'll have their link to their channels in the description box below, but you need to go check them out. They create a lot of great stuff. And I'll also have a link to the entire playlist in my description box below as well. And I would appreciate it if you check out the other videos once you're done watching mine. Now, let's get into the crafts. I am giving this scrap piece of wood two coats of the Rust-Oleum's Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the color Linen White. It is my absolute favorite. And if you notice, I'm doing it on a chopping mat that I got from the Dollar Tree because that way I can set it aside to dry a little bit easier. I'm gonna be putting on these two vinyl decals. One says peace and the other says joy. And I just used my Cricut. If you don't have a Cricut, you can use a stencil. You could use stickers, you could do carbon paper, you could freehand it. There are a lot of different options. And I'm putting joy on the other side because you know, I like a double-sided sign. I'm not gonna lie. Now I'm gonna be giving it a light coat of the paint to kind of seal it in and hopefully prevent bleeding. I'm taking Waverly Wax in the color Antique. And yes, I do have gloves on. I just got a manicure. I'm not wanting to ruin it. Anyway, I'm covering the piece of wood with the stencil on the, uh, you see me, I'm covering it with the, the Antique Wax and then I'm going back with a baby wipe to kind of rub off the excess. Now I'm gonna try to, I'm using this tool, I got it from the Dollar Tree, I'm gonna be trying to take the vinyl off. The vinyl on this side comes off fine, I think. I think it looks, it looks nice. But the other side, I don't know y'all, It as I'm watching the replay, it's actually looking okay, but I was just struggling to get those letters off. I didn't think it looked as crisp and as clean as I was wanting. Now I'm gonna be taking this beaded garland. I got that from the Dollar Tree. And I'm also gonna be using some Canadian pine stems that I got from the Dollar Tree as well to create a little wreath on that one end. So on the piece side, I didn't like how it looked. So I kind of used the, um, what do you call that? That sanding block to sand it down and I, I basically messed it up. So we're just gonna focus on the joy side. We're gonna find the joy in this. And this is how it turned out. I took five painter sticks and I cut them off where it starts to curve. And then I used the extra pieces to give them the little gap to measure the gap. And then I took two extra sticks and I'm gonna be making it like a kind of like a palette sign. And I'm gonna use the Elmer's Wood Glue Max to glue those down. Captain keeps trying to help. I keep pushing him away. And so I am measuring just so they're kind of the same distance apart. And I'm using that Waverly Wax in the color Antique again, again with the gloves because I just had the manicure. Don't want to mess up that manicure. And just giving it a good coat on both sides. Now I painted the J, O, and Y off camera and I'm adding that to the front. And I've already glued on the wreath thing that I made. But now I'm gonna go in, I'm, I'm sorry I didn't show you guys all this. I didn't have my camera on for some reason. Now I'm going in with that distressing ink and just kind of giving it an aged look all around the edges of the sign. And this is how it turned out. Another piece of scrap wood that I gave two coats of the rust chalked paint, chalked ultra matte paint in the color linen white. You'd think by now I'd be able to say it correctly. I got this sign from the Dollar Tree and I'm giving it two coats as well. I bought these paper mache letters from Hobby Lobby and I am giving them a coat of the linen white as well. The letter O is also from Hobby Lobby it, and it was already white but I wanted to make sure it matched the same color so I'm painting it linen white as well. And if you haven't guessed I'm spelling out joy so I had to paint the J as well. Same concept as before I am applying this Cricut decal. It says to the world. I'm applying it to this little scrap piece of wood that I painted white. I'm gonna go back and paint a thin coat of the white again over the words after I remove the transfer tape in the hopes that it will not bleed. We shall see. 
please cross your fingers for the next part. Now it's time to use the Waverly Wax in the color Antique on both the base and that little scrap piece of wood that has the words to the world on it. The moment of truth, y'all. I start peeling back using that tool that I got from the Dollar Tree and wow, it just did not work out. From this view, it doesn't look too bad, but trust me, it, it looked kind of rough. I'm gonna add embellishments now and I'm just gonna use this Canadian Pine stem again. Got it from Dollar Tree last year and hot glue it to the front. Now here's where it gets wonky. The, the, the to the world sign just does not look good y'all. So I thought maybe I'll distress it a little bit. Y'all, it basically just, I was erasing it. I was like, oh my goodness. I also distressed the letters, the edges of the letters J, O, and Y with the distressing ink. And then I had some white vinyl y'all. I just got it in. So I decided to go ahead and make a new decal in white vinyl to give it the same look that I was going for. And I just flipped it over and added the decal to the back. It's time to put the sign together. So I'm gonna hot glue down the J and the Y and I'm gonna put that little sign in between and the little O on top. And this is how the project turned out. I love the simplisticness of it all. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I really do appreciate you spending time with me and I hope you enjoyed the DIYs that I made today. And don't forget, if you wanna follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.